Good morning, good morning. This is KJX1337 here. Logging in, trying out MobaZen for the first time. And what I've got for you guys is, I believe it's my final three battles. Um, in the, uh, the challenge mode. I want to say we're on Peter Aspen right now. I could be wrong. Game's taking a while to load. We will know shortly here. Alright, we're in. I'm going to turn that game volume off. That's probably annoying. Now it's Brian's Crush Challenge. Sorry. So current score we're at 88. Um, obviously, we're trying to break into the 90s here. And that's something I've only done a couple times. My deck's not that great yet. Um, we're trying. But um, it's got a lot of room to improve still. I do like a lot of the things I can do with it. I recently have made it a little more versatile than normal. Um, however, I am following somewhat with the the BGE effects. So I do have Musical and Disguised in there. But I have a couple other cards as well. Oh, what next? Bending school it is. All right, we're taking a decent chunk of damage here. But I think that's okay. So we'll wipe him out there. Get that going. Okay, now we should more than likely have this match unless he combos witch costume here, so. All right. Yeah, it's gonna be close, but we should pull this one off. Yep, and that does it. We win. Throw out doing for fun. Doing. <clears throat> oh yeah. It's only a plus one. Obviously, we almost lost, but you know, you get up to these high levels and. You definitely can't expect to get a three. I mean, the last two I got was, I think, three or four matches ago, and it's been all ones today other than that, so. Hopefully, though, if we win these last two, you know, we'll, we'll be there. We really don't want to lose one. If you lose three points when you lose, so. Oh, yeah, let's just go ahead and lead off with Tom Landry, so. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. that's not good. Combo to Mythic right off the bat in slot one. That is rough. I don't think my bad Tina plan is going to work now. That's just so much health. Oh boy. Oh boy. I think they did us in already. Yeah, that's just insane. Oh, Tina. Tina didn't even punch in the right spot. Oh, yeah, we're going to lose. Well, this is a shame. <coughs> mm, excuse me. Yeah, there's really no coming back. Burger and Fries Luis right now. Not to mention that it's a mythic, but it's one of the best cards right now. That and Heavy, heavy Metal Haley, as they're picking up both Disguised and Musical traits at the moment. So right now, the Musical buff you get is 50% extra attack and health per card. And then you go ahead... <laughs> my baby in the background, sorry. And then you've got Disguised as well. Which is buffing 
fifty percent extra attack as well. Basically, they're they're counting it as a motivate, or, or I'm sorry, a cheer. But it's cheersing fifty percent of their health, which essentially is the same thing as just buffing their health up. It just happens at the beginning of the round, and then they also leech for fifty percent of their attack, though. So just keep getting mad health gains too. And yeah, there was there was no coming back from that one. So I guess we didn't make it to 90. That's unfortunate because even if I pulled off a three, we're at 89 and that won't happen either. Yeah. Yeah, my baby's just jabbering away in the background. Sorry, guys. Hashtag dad life. All right, let's lead off with Owl Stewie here. We like Owl Stewie. And you know, this is um This is my first video I'm recording, so it's probably pretty bad. I don't even know what the sound quality is gonna be like yet. Because I don't have a mic purchased. I'm just testing out the Mobazen app. Um shout out to Sam the Oil Man who I watch. Um congratulations on his thousand subscribers, by the way. If you guys want to go check him out, you should do that. Give him a subscribe. Uh, he's really, really cool dude. I'd like to meet him. Too bad he lives in Asia. I'm in the U.S. What can you do, right? But he did just do an awesome three mythic pull. Uh, I would go watch that video at least. And just, you know, be jealous of his deck because I know I am. But uh, anyway, back to the gameplay. I don't even remember where I was at. Let's see, Peter. Sister Peter. Eh, let's do it. I don't use that combo very often, but it's enough to give him boost to Stewie and to take out Burger Suit, so it's worth it. Get that heal going back on too, since he's getting Oh yeah, it's not Stewie's still gonna go out this turn. That's unfortunate. Let's see. I really want to get a card in that third still. So thinking about just dropping off this Arlen's Men Choir. That'll boost Peter up a little more. All right. Okay. They went for the third slot as well. Oh, what's a good one? Let's do Roger's Closet, I guess. I really wish I had a quad at Roger's Closet. I have a single, and it... I don't even know if it should be in my deck, because it barely holds up. Oh, Arlen's Men Choir is definitely gone. Rough. Okay, now, oh, this is a rough one. I have to let Jug Blower Bobby either take out 21 direct health points, which actually will be 23 because he's got Zap to boost it, or I have to let Roger's Closet die, and I'll still take some health points. I'm going to take 50. I'm going to take the direct hit. We're going to go with Mugger Bender here. Bender's a great card. There we go. Ooh, ooh, no, I was gonna play Bending School Grad, but I th think I wanna go with Red Rodriguez to real. So we're going to drop Nibbler on the roof first. Uh, let this turn play through. Oh man, that Tom Landry is holding up, especially with that Jug Blower Bobby. He's giving it a 14 shield, so I can't really do much to it. And then it leeches what I do take back. I think it's eventually going to, yeah, it's going to take out Peter on the next turn, probably. 
That's unfortunate. See if we can't put a stop to that. Okay, this is not looking real promising. Oh man, that is a major bummer. I'm pretty sure I just lost again. Come on. Ah. Ah. Well, Sorry I let you guys watch this. I'm going to push this, see if it maybe loses two. I doubt it. Someone told me you only lose two instead of three if you forfeit. I don't think that's true. Yeah, 83, 86. I'm pretty sure that I lost three there. Okay, well that's unfortunate. My ranking is not going to be very good now. Guess I should have not played those last three. Wow. <laughs> We're only sitting at 3,897 Wonder Wharf coins. Um, play the Finger Cutter Challenge later. Those you can just auto play through. They're really easy. Mm. Let's kind of give you guys a quick look at my deck before I end this video. Because again, I'm not even sure what the quality is going to be. It might not, you might not be able to hear anything. Oh, yes, yes, Bender. You're great. Okay, Arlen's Men Choir. You know, I could do a quad of Bender, but I love having Bender in my deck so much that I've been hesitant. I've been holding off. Um, so, let's see. I've got two Benders, a Bending School, a Bobby. I'm using Doing currently. He's been recently added in. Uh, Eugene, I wish I had a quad of Eugene, he's so good, but being a single, that's just, you know, there's there's quite a bit of cards that can take him when I make combos, but quad of genes are really tough to go against. Let's see, Fart School for the Gifted, Gas Class, Hank's one that's got really good combos, so I use him even as a single, um, he'll obviously be a dual and then I'll debate with him whether or not I want to make him a quad when I get my next one. Jelly Bean Schnapps, Nibbler on the Roof, he's got a lot of health, uh, so a single's fine with him having the 50% boost. Um, Owl Stewie, I'm, I'm liking him so far. I didn't know if I would, it's one of my newer cards. Let's see the Pawtucket, Patriot Ale is a good one. Peter. Fry is an amazing card, so I use him as a single as well. I haven't been lucky enough to get a second, third, or fourth Fry. Roger, I've got him quadded. Love Roger and his combos. Oh, and my daughter is crying now. Here you are. Okay, it's okay. All right. Where were we? Uh, Roger, Roger's Closet, again, wish wish I had a duel or a quad of that. <laughs> Tina, uh, I could probably suck it up and, and quad Tina now. <laughs> oh, drop the phone, kid. How rough is this for a first video? Wow. Alright, sorry about that. Phone fell down, trying to help my daughter out, okay. But yeah, Tina, um, specifically because of this Tom Landry when Educated was going on, I refused to quad her because that duel Tina with the quad Tom Landry was just a massacre. That card is already so good. When you do the 50-50, it was insane. And then my two turn and Jeffs at the end, uh, similar to Nibbler on the Roof, but more attack and less health um, makes a lot of a lot of the same combos.
Oh, no, don't want to do that. Sorry. Um, and uh, that will wrap up my video, guys. Thanks uh, for watching.